Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel, You She Talks. And today we are talking about college admission scam mastermind who has been sentenced to 3.5 years in federal prison. We have more details. Please continue to watch this video. William Rick Singer, the mastermind of the sprawling college admission scam aptly known as Operation Varsity Blues, was sentenced Wednesday to three and a half years in federal prison, the longest sentence in a case that has rattled America's higher education system. Singer was the central figure in the scam in which wealthy parents, desperate to get their children into elite universities, paid huge sums to cheat on standardized tests, bribe university coaches and administrators who had influence over admission, and then lie about it to authorities. Singer pleaded guilty to racketeering conspiracy, money laundering conspiracy, conspiracy to defraud the U.S. and obstruction of justice in March 2019. He cooperated with the government's investigation in the months prior to public announcement of the case and in the years since. In federal court in Boston on Wednesday, Singer apologized for his actions and said that his morals took a backseat to winning and keeping score. I lost my ethical values and have so much regret. To be frank, I am ashamed of myself, Singer said. In addition, to the three and a half years of prison time, Singer was sentenced to three years of supervised release and four feature of $10 million, Judge Raya Zobel said. He is due to report to prison on February 27. Prosecutors had asked the court to sentence him to six years while Singer's attorneys asked for probation with home detention and community service. The sentencing represents the culmination of an extensive criminal case first made public nearly four years ago when authorities arrested and charged over 50 people, including coaches, Test administrators, prominent CEOs, and the actors Felicity Huffman and Lori Logan. With only exceptions of a few, almost all of them pleaded guilty and served prison terms generally measured in weeks or months. For example, Huffman was sentenced to 14 days and Logan received two months behind bars. The previous longest sentence in the case for former Georgetown tennis coach Gordon Ernest was two and a half years in prison. Singer is one of the last people to be sentenced in the case, which rocked the world of higher education and showed not or not, the, not for the first or the last time, how rich people use their wealth and means to help their children game the college admission system. That's all we have in today's video. Please continue to watch the space for more informative news. Thanks for watching us. You have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.